students this is rinsy david your science teacher today i'm going to explain a topic from grade 5 before i introduce my topic to you i would like to introduce my new found friend his name is bunny 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 where are you i'm looking for you where are you bunny amir amir please help me amir look down ho oh, what happened to you bunny i lost my support i lost my support <laughs> i lost my support don't cry bunny i will help you Bunny Hi friends Hello Introduce yourself Bunny to my students Hi students my name is Bunny and I am a puppet If you have to play with me you should insert your hand inside of me and give support Your hand will be my framework Oh Isn't it amazing students? Hey buddy, who is helping you inside your body to provide support and framework? That's a good question, Bunny. For your question, I would like to ask my students to tell the answer. Is that okay for you? Okay, students, can you tell me Who is providing framework and support in our body? Yes, you are correct. It's our skeleton sister. Oh wow, buddy, it's amazing. I just want to know more about human skeleton system. Can you explain it to me? Your wish is my command. Let me grab human skeleton. Human skeleton system. There are 206 bones in an adult body connected by joints. In babies you will have more number of bones. key point joints our bones are divided into four types they are skull the red colored point is called skull is forming our head region the second type is backbone the pointer is showing backbone the third one is called rib cage the pointer is showing rib cage The fourth one is called limbs. We have limbs in the upper body as well as in the lower body. The pointer is pointing limbs. Let us study one by one. First we will study skull. The picture what you are seeing here is skull. Skull is a hollow structure. It's round in shape. It protects our brain. It is made up of 22 bones. 
Out of 22 bones, 8 bones are interlocked. You can see in the picture, the bones are interlocked. Interlocked bones protects our brain. Hence, it is called cranial bones. Remaining 14 bones give shape to our face. It is called facial bones. The second type of bone that we are studying is backbone. The pointer is now showing backbone. Backbone is also called vertebral column. Vertebral column. Our backbone is made out of 33 small bones. Students, please note 33 small bones. These small bones are called vertebrae. Vertebrae. Vertebrae join to form a ring like structure. It helps us to bend, twist, move our upper body. These are the functions of our backbone. Now we are going to study the third type of bone that is rib cage. The pointer is showing rib cage. The red colored mark on the bones showing rib cage. There are 12 pairs of thin curved bones which are called ribs. I repeat again, they are called ribs. Our ribs are joined in front with the help of a flat bone. All the ribs are held with the help of flat bone. And this flat bone is called sternum. I repeat again, it is called sternum. Last pair of ribs are not attached. You can see the last pair of ribs are not attached. They are called floating ribs. They are called floating ribs. Next we are going to study the fourth type of bones that is limbs. The picture is showing limbs. We have limbs in the upper body as well as in the lower body. The pointer is showing the limbs in the upper body and lower body. There are totally four limbs in our body. Upper two limb and lower two limb. They help us for our movements. Our upper limb has a long bone is called as humerus. I repeat again, it is called humerus. The pointer is showing humerus. H-U-M-E-R-U-S Bone in lower arm is called femur. A special note for you students in this class. In our body, we have girdle. We have two bony ring-like structure called girdle. 
the picture is showing the girdle which is there in our shoulder region. It gives shape to our shoulder. Hence, it is called shoulder girdle. We have a girdle in our hip region. The pointer is showing the girdle which is present in our hip region and it is called hip girdle. Thank you students for your peaceful listening. So Bunny, did you understand about human skeleton? Yes, it was so interesting. I loved it. Yes, that is what I wanted to teach to my students in today's class. So I hope along with you, my students as well learnt about human skeleton. In my next video, I will be telling about muscles. Are you interested? Of Bunny? course, I'm interested. Okay then, so let's wind up today's class, Bunny. Say bye-bye. Bye-bye, students. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.